let's create soapstone with epoxy. This recipe is simple. What we're gonna do is go over existing MDF. We've already done two coats of paint and primer in one. We sanded between coats and the steps are as follows. We're gonna use 220 grit. We'll sand our second coat. We'll be sure to wipe the dust using paper towels. Then we're ready to mix our epoxy. We're gonna mix our stone coat countertop epoxy at a one to one ratio for two minutes using a drill. After that, we're gonna add our deep silver. Our deep silver magic metallic is what really creates depth and makes your piece look realistic. Then we're gonna create a second additive. This is gonna be our white magic metallic. This is what we're gonna create those soapstone classic veins and fractures with. Do as many as you like to your desired look and then let it cure. After it's cured, we're gonna hone the piece. Why do we hone it? Because soapstone looks so much more up-leveled when you hone it. Honing is simple. Be sure to check out our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to hone, matte finish, and give your project a low sheen. Let's get started. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Are you gonna restore your old countertops and make them look like soapstone? Be sure to use our bonding primer if you're going over laminate, solid surface, cultured marble, natural stone, any non-porous surface that's hard, slick, and smooth, just treat it with our bonding primer, which is easy as rolling on that finish and letting it dry. Be sure to check out our PDF, hands-on tutorial of how to apply bonding primer like a pro. Here we go. If you're building new countertops as opposed to coating existing surfaces, Follow these simple steps to building countertops like a pro. Put your pins down, stop taking notes. We did the hard work for you. On our website, you'll find printable, downloadable, step-by-step -step directions to help recreate soapstone epoxy. Mix for two minutes, let's do it. Be sure to rub the bottom and the sides of the bucket as you slow that drill down. That's key for a great mixture. We're gonna prime our brush with the epoxy. Then we're gonna chop the silver surface. I really like this color as a preparatory color for soapstone. We're gonna chop all these lines out and we have a beautiful base to start our lines and our fractures. Here we go. By using our chop brush and overlapping those edges, it pushes epoxy and helps it flow over that edge. It sets you up for success so that when you go ahead and brush, you get all the edges coated really evenly. Let's keep going. Be sure to wipe any epoxy off your gloves before you grab your torch or your heat gun. This keeps your tools more clean, they last longer, and you're not such a sticky mess. Be sure to prep your areas so you don't get any epoxy where you don't want it. And when you're prepped, you get to focus on your art and not making a mess. That's the fun part. To pop the bubbles at this point, you can use a heat gun or a torch. I'll use both 
and show you the difference. A heat gun takes a little bit longer and that's okay. A torch is just fast and furious, but be sure to be safe. Stone Coat Epoxy is non-flammable. It's easy to work with. There's no noxious smell. There's zero VOC. It's second to none. This was designed for the do-it-yourselfer in mind. It gives you plenty of working time to do your project without stress of having that product set up and harden on you. This is a fun process. Enjoy it. Make your samples and change your kitchen. That was easy. That was one metallic color. Look at the magic that's created when you get that depth. That's why we call them magic metallics. Check this out. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's put in our fractures, our cracks, our fissures. Let's make this look like natural soapstone. And we're gonna do it with a tongue depressor. Couple pro tips here. Don't start and stop in the middle of your piece and do a U-turn. We're gonna go over each edge and come right back to ourselves. This creates long fractures that look realistic. That's a pro tip. I got a little drip right here. Don't panic, it's easy to fix. We'll tap it out using a gloved hand and it will meld and hide that we created an error. All right, we're just taking a little bit of our excess deep silver and gonna bisect some of these white veins. It makes it look even more up-leveled and realistic. We're ready for our clear coat tomorrow after this is set up. We'll come back and we'll apply our clear coat. It's the same epoxy at a one-to-one -one ratio, just troweled on clear. This gives you some buildup, it gives our edges a nice smooth slick surface, and it makes our project look even better. After the clear dries, we'll hone it and we're ready to use our new countertops. Visit all of our tutorials on how to make your project look realistic and mimic mother nature. Visit us anytime at stonecoatcountertops.com and until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video.